In this video, we are destroying AI fear-mongering and developer nihilism because it breaks my heart for people who are new to this field who still might be filled with wonder and excitement and passion. Uh, and then every piece of media they see is telling them that this thing they're excited about is dead. So what are we destroying in this video or what is developer nihilism? It's this view that you shouldn't learn anything because we're all going to be obsolete. Like nothing is worth being enthusiastic about or practicing or getting good at because pretty soon there will be no jobs. AI is taking over everything. Every field is going to be dead. It's not. Let's just stop right there. It's not. So it's just changing, right? So dream on young Padawan. I've got your back. In this video, we're going to free your mind from this negative news climate. Uh, you can continue to have your dream and chase your dream of being a developer. Here's why. Let's start with layoffs. So we've all seen the news stories that countless people in tech have lost their job recently. But is this because developers are now obsolete and AI is taking every job? Or could there be other factors at play? So let's just start with the economy. I mean, are we really sure that interest rates, inflation, and trade wars have nothing to do with layoffs? People are struggling to afford groceries. Is it really absurd to think that companies are feeling the financial squeeze too? And maybe laying people off has more to do with dollars and cents than it has to do with developers being obsolete because Tim and HR can vibe code his way into a calculator app. Aside from the economy, I think another huge factor in the layoffs is hype. Specifically, shareholder hype, investor hype, venture capitalist hype. If investors and shareholders are convinced that AI is a magic money printing machine, aren't companies going to follow that? And maybe they're just laying off any department that isn't actively involved in shoehorning AI into their product. Because even if the consumer hates AI, investors love it right now. I'm actually working on a startup right now. I've already secured about $5 billion in funding. We're going to be manufacturing toilets, and we're integrating all of the big LLMs, GPT-40, Claude Sonnet, Gemini, and you just talk out loud about how things are going, and the AI will talk back to you and let you know when is the most optimal time to flush. My investors couldn't be more excited. They're, they're pretty hyped up. Uh, but don't get me wrong, people love chat GPT because it's actually useful in their lives. But for a lot of other AI products, I think there is real societal-wide fatigue and distaste for AI hype. When you talk about hype, you can't not talk about the stock market. And so when you see a headline in the news from the CEO of NVIDIA saying that programmers will be obsolete, Hmm, could that be a sensationalist news headline to boost his stock price? I mean, if his product is so amazing that it's going to make everyone obsolete, I think I might buy some more of his stock. I'm not saying that AI isn't going to dramatically affect the job market in years to come. I'm just saying that between the economy and hype, I think maybe some of these layoffs are overstated. I don't think developers are obsolete. That's enough about layoffs. Let's move on to my next point, which is that a developer who actually understands what's going on in the code is always going to be needed, no matter how good AI gets. For an example, if we look at the Zed Text Editor's website, they have this page about their agentic features, agentic editing, and if you watch the video... And now, I've jumped to here where it actually implemented this thing. So it <laughs> decided that if the past interactions count is zero, then it sort of defaults to six. That doesn't seem to me like the right way to implement that default, but it's okay because this is just a completely regular buffer. So I can just delete that and now it's the way I want it. So if you didn't have the enthusiasm and passion for coding to understand code, how are you going to oversee the code? I mean, the whole point of this demo is that you have to reject or keep the code suggestions that the agent is giving you. And throughout this video, even though the AI technology is very impressive, you can't replace the developer you still need someone who has judgment who goes oh yeah that code's bogus oh yeah that's not optimal oh that's good code i'll keep that i'll get rid of this code if you don't have someone who actually understands what is going on that's how you vibe your way into an insecure app or a million dollar api bill so good luck with that now the obvious counter argument to what i'm saying is but this is the worst that ai is ever going to get Imagine how good it is in five years from now or 10 years from now. Well, okay, even if it's amazing, even if it's better than we could ever even conceive of, the limiting factor is still going to be a human being utilizing it uh, because employees ultimately are just a responsibility container. Let me explain. 
So someone's butt needs to be on the line. So even if AI gets so good that no one ever writes code ever again and we all just write prompts, do you really think that a CEO or a project manager has time in their day? Do they have the sheer hours in their day to be an AI wrangler? The reason they have developer employees in the first place is because they don't have the hours in their day to focus on the minute details of building software and maintaining software. They don't have the hours in their day to prompt a UI into perfection, chisel it prompt by prompt until it looks exactly like what the client would want. Companies need employees, or AKA a responsibility container, someone whose butt is on the line if anything breaks, but also someone who just has hours to use the technology, even if they're not writing code and they're just prompting and prompting and prompting their way into the perfect product, that's going to take time. And that's the whole point of an employee. No one has enough hours in their day to do everything. And no matter how good AI gets, I think developers are always going to be the ones who are best suited to be those responsibility containers, even if it's through prompting or working with AI. And I shouldn't use future tense, I should use present tense. This is already going on. This is now the normal. Developers use AI and it allows them to be much more efficient and capable. So this brings me to my next point, which is competition. So if AI is making us so much more efficient that a team that used to need 10 developers, maybe now only needs seven developers or six or five developers, isn't that making the field way more competitive? Sure it is, but a field being competitive is not the same thing as a dead field. I mean, if it was, we would say real estate is dead. Becoming a doctor is dead. Becoming a lawyer is dead. No, it's just really competitive for a lot of factors. I mean, for the last decade, web development was seen as this ultimate career lane switch option. So the market was flooded, you know, with coding boot camps and what have you. There was just so many developers flooding into the market. And now that we have maybe a few factors that are cutting back on jobs a little bit, I don't think the sky is falling. Maybe the gold rush of web development seen as the ultimate career switch is over, but there's still gonna be a ton of developer jobs. I don't think they're gonna be obsolete at any point in time. No matter how good AI gets, a team that used to need 10 developers, you can't shrink that down to like one or two. I mean, just the sheer amount of email that that one poor developer would get. I just almost had a panic attack thinking about being that developer, how flooded your email inbox would be with all these requests and you being responsible for that many different projects and tasks and features, all relying on your AI magic and you're the only developer. I mean, just get real. No one has time or the human attention to manage that many different things. Ultimately, humans, or I should say employees, are responsibility containers, and one person can only handle so much. We are still going to need multiple developers. It's not like the whole job market is going to shrink down to just one developer per company. That's not happening. But even if it did happen, so I'm going to concede that point. I don't think that's going to happen, but just for the sake of argument, let's say that it does, that every company only needs one developer. I still think developer nihilism is pathetic and running around in the comments and telling everyone don't get into development don't be passionate about code don't bother getting good at code or learning about anything because there aren't any jobs because i can't get a job so you can't get a job that's just pathetic developers as a whole won't be replaced but you sure will be with your self-defeating attitude you will be replaced by a newer generation of developers who are burning with passion to understand code, and yes, who use AI to be dramatically faster and more capable. And even if your nihilistic doom fantasy came true, and companies didn't just have one developer, they had zero, and there were no developer jobs, why wouldn't people just create their own jobs? You do realize it's not illegal to not be an employee. I guess I just have more faith in the entrepreneurial spirit of man than I do in large language models and companies that provide jobs. So if you've made it to the end of the video, my message is keep learning, keep studying, keep practicing, keep following your dreams. If you're interested in code, that is awesome. Keep going. Pay no attention to the nihilistic AI hype. And if you're interested in my GPT toilet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.